Good day, Virgo viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for bringing your awesome energy. Thank you for hanging out with me. And thank you for clicking on like and subscribing to my channel and also hitting that notification bell. That will let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos. I was just shuffling for the overall energy for the Virgo Collective for this general reading for October 2024. That's right. This is a general reading, not personal. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here I am shuffling for the overall energy. Thank you for the Virgo Collective and their greatest good for October 2024. Shuffling for Virgo. Oh, we got a couple. All right, so we have three. Okay, so we have She Wolf Unleash the Wild Within. We have Fire Guardian Ignite Your Passion. And Air Guardian, shift your perception. Okay, so immediately upon turning these cards over, I got this excited feeling. Like, it is time for you to let down your hair and let loose um, in October. Uh, maybe you have some parties going on. Maybe you were invited to um, Halloween parties or... Um, something along those lines, holiday parties, costume parties. Um, but I'm hearing like it's, it is a time to let loose, a time to stop overthinking. Um, and I get this with this seeing things from a different perspective. Energy. Um, if you notice this person has wings on, so it's like that eagle you know, soaring through the sky, trying to see everything and seeing things from a completely different view. Changing your perspective on something. Maybe you have a closed mind to something. Maybe you have been saying no to um, a certain idea that somebody is proposing to you. Um, maybe you have um, been shutting down an offer of some kind. Uh, but it's it's all about seeing things from a different standpoint, trying to open your mind and open your heart and open your energy to receiving new things and new ideas and stop um, shutting ideas out. Um, there's a lot of passion in October for you. There's a lot of, whether that be sexual passion or maybe artistry or something that gets you excited and something get, that gets you really going. Um, and that's exactly what you want to do. Let down your hair. Um, sometimes Virgos tend to be a little bit more buttoned up than other signs. Um, you know, straight laced, doing things by the book, rule followers, very detail oriented. Um, well, it's time to throw that caution to the wind and, and let your hair down. Um, let out that inner child. It's time for you to enjoy things, to be spontaneous. Maybe not, you know, be so detailed and controlling. It's time for you to follow your passions, follow your heart. Whatever excites you, go for it. Um, there's no time like the present is what I just heard. So <laughs> in my head, no time like the present, I'm hearing YOLO. <laughs> Spirit say no time like the present, and I'm saying in the 3D, YOLO. It's time to grab the bull by the horns and take advantage of right now, the situation, the current situation, and enjoy the present. Um, there's something exciting happening for you. There's something that's going to really, really get you excited. You're going to have news or some kind of opportunity is going to come in for you. Uh, this could be you know, a love opportunity. This could be a work opportunity. This could be a networking opportunity, but something good is going to be coming in for you. You might not, you might kind of like eh, at first, but look at it from every perspective. If you are kind of like, eh, I don't know, not something I would normally go for. You're being asked to, to open your eyes, broaden your horizons, open your mind, open your heart. This might be, it might not be exactly what it looks like, but this is an opportunity. 
that spirit's offering you. And maybe, just maybe, if you take a chance on it, it might be something that you love. All right, so let's move ahead on to... I'm not used to three cards coming out. Let's fit that in there. Um, let's move on to our tarot deck and see what spirit has to say. What messages we have for our Virgo collective. Spirit, I am shuffling for the Virgo collective for October. What are the messages that the Virgo collective needs to know for October? 2024. All right. So here, what does <laughs> what does the Virgo Collective need to know for October 2024? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. I was expecting this card to come out. And the Moon. Okay, so this is going to be whatever opportunity is coming in for you is going to be a long-term opportunity. Is going to, you're going to reap the benefits over a, a period of time. Um, so really the Knight of Pentacles <laughs> is probably one of the only nights you want to see in your reading because it's a nice slow energy um and it provides um longevity in the reading it's not that fast thinking energy it's not that fast in and out energy it is a nice slow energy that is um is lapsing over a certain period of time and and talks about longevity now this four of cups in reverse now in the upright, you know, the person, you know, in the Rider Weight Tarot is looking at these three cups that aren't serving them. And remember I said it might not be what you want, but it might be something that serves you and is beneficial to you. And Spirit's asking you to broaden your horizons and open up your mind. Well, that's exactly what this is here. You are opening up your mind. You have chosen to open up your mind. And you're going to reap the benefits. All right. There's going to be a lot of changes coming in for you. Um, a lot of exciting new things coming in um, on your path. This talks about things that learning things you never knew before. Things that um, I don't want to say that have been hidden from you, but things that you just didn't know. Maybe you're getting to know somebody new. And, um, you know, this could be a new relationship for you. This could be, um, an exciting opportunity in a new networking group or a new work opportunity, depending on how it resonates. But, um, this exciting new long lasting adventure is coming into your energy. Okay. So let's see what else. I also just got that this might involve a water sign um, that is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So maybe you are connecting with one of those um, signs. You don't have to be, but I was just told to put that out there for some of you. There might be a partnership there. Right, Spirit, what else do we have for the Virgo Collective? What else do they need to know? Ooh. Okay. Okay, I was told to take them all. Okay, so the first couple cards that come out were the Hermit in Reverse and the Magician. Now, from these cards, okay... I'm hearing that you have to go out and and create opportunities or create demand for yourself. Um, you've learned your lessons, you've been introspective, and you have your your coping skills. You've probably been through a situation, and 
you might have been laying low for a while, keeping to yourself, staying out of the limelight, um, just trying to reconnect with yourself, reconnect with your higher power. Um, now I'm hearing that it's time to get out there and use these skills to create for yourself. Everything that you've been manifesting while you've been um, reflecting and um, being introspective, it's now it's time to work your magic. Now it's time to use these skills to go out and and start manifesting your dreams and desires. Everything that you've been manifesting isn't going to happen on its own. That's the thing with manifesting. A lot of people think like, oh, it's like making a wish. No, manifesting is asking the universe for something and then working to achieve it. It's not just, nothing is just going to poof out of the clear blue sky and say, okay, here I am. This is what you wish for. We're not talking a genie here. We're talking your higher power. Your higher power is listening to you, but if you're not going to work for it, then you're not going to get it. So the magician is saying, you have learned all these things. Now it's time to work for it. It's time to put that into play, put that and bring your manifestations into fruition. With this, we have the Hermit and the, the Magician card. Super, super important cards. You're done being introspective. It's time to put these lessons into um, the universe and get things moving. Okay, then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. The Temperance card. Hmm. And the Four of Swords in reverse. Time is over. Time for rest is over. Okay, is what I just heard. But I'm also hearing that, with especially with this Queen of Wands in reverse, that some of you need to focus more on self-care. Focus more on self-love. I hear like some of you might be when you talk to yourself or, you know, because we all have that voice inside our heads, <laughs> you know, we talk to ourselves. I feel like some of you are using deprecating terminologies towards ourself. Um, you know, if so we mess up on something or you don't reach a certain goal, it's like you guys are really, really being hard on yourselves, which is total Virgo. <laughs> um, being very hard on yourselves and also you're self-deprecating you are, you know, talking shit to yourself about yourself. And the universe doesn't differentiate between that energy. Doesn't know you're kidding, doesn't know you don't mean it. It just knows that you're bringing this energy of hate to yourself. So we have to change that lifestyle. We have to change the way we think, the way we communicate with ourselves and others to turn these cards in up like in the right side. Okay. You need to take some time and love yourself. Um, this could also be, maybe you need a break. I'm hearing you guys work a lot. Maybe you just need a break. Take some rest. Uh, maybe take a weekend to yourself with and disconnect from everything. I know it's like, in this day and age, I know that it's very, very hard. Or, I mean, especially when you guys have families and kids. But you have to think of your own mental health. Maybe just, just disconnect from work things. Disconnect from social media. And only focus on family, friends, loved ones in the vicinity. And not what, you know, Joe Smith is doing. Um, who's across the country who you went to were in third grade with you know and that's lovely social media is lovely I'm on it all the time but sometimes you need to disconnect and focus on what's in front of you and the needs and wants of yourself and the people who love you because if your cup isn't full then how are you going to nourish, nourish the people who love you how can you give to them if you aren't giving to yourself and then we have the temperance, which is the universe is has something going on behind the scenes. Simple as that. The universe is conspiring to make some changes in your life. And like I said, usually it's good changes. So I see this, um, you know, like I said, a lot of 
change coming in, as I first said when we first opened this reading. The universe is conspiring and saying, let's let's do it. Let's get this on the right path. I feel like you're making changes. You're going out. You're manifesting. You've put the work in. And now you're going out and making these changes and making yourself known and saying, hey, world, I'm here. And this is what I'm here for. All right. So you can be certain that the universe is working and um, for you, your path. And whatever connections that need to fall into your path, Spirit's working on putting them right in your, in your path. So hopefully you don't miss these opportunities because sometimes we do because we have blinders on sometimes because it's not what we, we would expect. Sometimes we, you know, overlook things because it's not something that we would normally be attracted to. But Spirit's saying, I'm putting these opportunities out for you. What are you going to do with them? You know, it's time to keep an open mind and open heart and, you know, go after these opportunities because I hear that they're going to be life changing. All right. So let's move on to our concluding message. Virgo, this was such a good reading. I'm so excited. I have been really connecting really well to the readings this month. I don't know if it's because we're between the two eclipses or whatever, but it is like, it has been so clear, these messages, and so, like, so cool. All right, Spirit, I am shuffling for the concluding message for the Virgo Collective. What do they need to know for the month of October? What's the concluding message for the month of October, Spirit? What, thank you. Okay, I'm going to put my glasses on. See what we have here. Number 11. And I'm going to read this to you. So I pulled the crow. 11. Pay close attention to the winds. There's a message making its way. Number 11. Let me change the page. All right. Your higher self chose this card because a message is coming your way and it's warning you to keep an eye out for important signs and clues of what's to come. Nothing truly manifests without some warning. The signs might be subtle, but they have been prompting you your entire life. You might feel a sensation just as a tingle on your neck or perhaps a decision gives you a sense of dread. You might have the idea that instantly lifts your spirits or feels some electricity when you meet someone new. All of these sensations are clues that attempt to steer you toward the rewarding life. So look for clues. Look for these signs. Pulling the crow card is a sign to trust in your intuition, especially in the coming days. You may be quick to dismiss your feelings as being silly, and perhaps they are in many societies. However... You're connected to the spirit realm where all things are possible and the only right answer is the one that gives you a feeling of peace, joy, and success. Trust in your ability to read the messages of the universe and know there is always a pathway to safety for those who know where to look. Whether the message coming your way is good or bad remains to be seen. Look to other cards within your reading or select additional cards for more details. So look for opportunities. There's signs all around you. I've been saying that the whole time. I love when spirit is on board with the messages that I've been given throughout the reading and just throws in an extra concluding message to prove that point. Um, keep an open mind. You don't know what you need. Universe does. So keep an open mind, keep an open heart, and uh, I just see a lot of really good things coming your way if you choose to do that. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for clicking on like and subscribing to my channel, um, and please uh, 
hit that notification bell that will let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos and it is absolutely free for you to do all these things click on like subscribe it's absolutely free and it does help my channel to grow and get more circulation and it is truly appreciated so thank you for joining me Virgo and I will catch you next time bye